In this video, we are going to go through the four scenarios which are critical. The first one is being when the object is more than 2f, meaning 2 times the focal length. As we mentioned just now, the 2f is over here, 250mm. So this object, as long as it's here, is more than 2f, 2 times the focal length. And following the three rays, or the two rays rather, you will be able to locate the image over here. And take a look at the object here. This is real because it can be formed on the screen. It is inverted, you can see that. Okay, this is the object is upright and the image here is inverted and it is diminished, meaning it's smaller compared to the object. So what's the application for this? You can think it of your eye or your camera. Next, the second scenario if I have to shift the object nearer until a point where it's exactly at 2f, 2 times the focal length, 250mm in this case. This is where I told you that the theory is important because when the object is exactly at 2f, you must know that the image must be exactly at 2f, 2 times the focal length also. And take a look here, the image is once again real, inverted, and it is same size as the object so there's no modification or that so the application for this will be your photocopier machine 100% A4 goes in A4 comes out so there's the second scenario and the third scenario will be if the object is between F and 2 F's anywhere in between here okay so take a look at the image form is once again real inverted but this is magnified, bigger than the original object. So this application will be your projector or your slide projector. So this is the third scenario. And the last one, if I continue to shift the object nearer, and of course at F, okay, it will be parallel. Okay, but the fourth scenario is referring to when the object is less than one focal length. So it's within here. So, take a look at the, the rays, because it doesn't converge here, what you need to do is, you extend the two lines here using dotted lines because they are not real rays, they are virtual rays. And then when it comes to a point here, that will be your position of the image, the tip of the image, and this image will be at this position. So take a look at this image, it's rather different. It's virtual, that's why you have to use dotted lines to represent virtual image. It cannot be formed on the screen. It is upright and it's magnified, it's bigger than the original object. So what's the application here? It's your magnifying glass. You can imagine your eyes put on this side here. And then this is the magnifying glass that is just above the textbook where this is a letter the wordings on the textbook and the magnified image will be on the same side. So this image is on the same side as the object. So what, let's repeat the whole thing again. So this is your, when the object is less than focal length or less than F, the image will be upright, virtual and magnified. And if it's between F and 2F, you will get a real inverted magnified image and when it's exactly at 2f very important the image must be at 2f real inverted but now it's same size and if i shift the object further away from the lens here so the image you get will be real inverted diminished so these are the four scenarios that you must know